Hey guys, welcome back to Grind Season Outdoors. So, we're a couple days away from one of the biggest weeks, biggest days of the year, the first day of the state tournament. So, I've been out pre-fishing the last few days and I found some good stuff. I'm not gonna sit here and elaborate too much on that. I mean, I've I found some community holes and some sneaky spots. I'm gonna go out tomorrow and look for maybe something else a little bit hidden and just kinda polish off those last details and practice before the tournament starts. We got our meeting tomorrow, we're gonna find out um, who I'm gonna have with me or if I have anyone with me for the first day and what my boat number is gonna be. So tomorrow's gonna be a fun day, pretty big day. I'm gonna go out in the morning with Jeff Hines and it's gonna be interesting. So I gotta give a big shout out right now to Tanya and Jeremy for letting me stay in their cabin. As you can see, I'm overlooking the river here. Got a beautiful place to stay. So I'm super excited about that. And I get to stay the rest of the week here. So absolutely phenomenal um, place to stay and got a pretty sweet view to come back to every night. But, you know, I feel like it's gonna take some really big bags to do good in this tournament this year. But the good news is I have found a lot of places that have really good quality fish. So the potential's there. But I can't slip up, I can't make mistakes. I gotta have three good clean days of fishing and catch three really big bags. I feel like if I can go out there and fish all my spots to their full potential, I could win this thing. So I'm in it to win it this year, guys. If I qualify for regionals again, that's awesome. But if not, um, I'm gonna go for the win. That's, that's the biggest thing. Um, other than that, we're just gonna see how things unfold. I've pretty much done all I can do in practice. Uh, I'm gonna get out there again tomorrow and like I said just do a couple last things and hit the ground running so stick with us guys We'll get at you here probably tomorrow night. Maybe in the morning of the tournament. We'll see where things go from here, but super excited to get this thing started and Fingers crossed. I'm hoping that I can get my first win All right guys day one of the state tournament just getting up here in the morning at the cabin and it's freaking early. Just peeked outside to take a look at the fog situation and it looks like there might be a few little fog banks out there but it's not terrible like it was yesterday. So hopefully we can get going on time. We can get up there, pool nine and start doing some fishing. Freaking pumped up, this is what we live for. I love bass fishing, love bass fishing tournaments and these days state tournament comes around once a year. Don't have very many opportunities so I'm gonna go out there and make it freaking count today. Um, Got a co-angler, seems like a pretty awesome dude. So get out and do some fishing with him. Hopefully I can put him on some good fish too. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get a big bag today and, and uh, start off this thing the right way.
giant. You left one there for me, buddy. Appreciate it. saving this one because I feel like no one's probably hit it or at least not very many people and there were some huge mama out there the other day so if this doesn't work out then I'm gonna get nervous
they're around. There's no way they're just, they're just up and gone, kind of like I said earlier. I think, I think the bite is just extremely tough today compared to what it has been. These conditions are just not good for... There's one. Good one, too. He wasn't popping off anyway, but it still scared the shit out of me. It's kind of terrifying when they come up. Because I've seen it a lot of times, you know, where guys will get the crankbait in the net, but not the fish. Yeah. And then the fish will shake off. There's five. Let's get a couple for you. We get on that smally spot now down there, and there's a couple there. I'll let you just cast at it a little bit and try to get a couple so you can get your limit. If we don't get it here, hopefully. Yeah. Alright, well, we just finished the day here, Dylan and I. Had a pretty decent day. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't get Dale on his third fish, but he's got two pretty decent ones. And I got I got two good ones and then three that I wish I could have got rid of, but it was really tough. A lot of the fish moved around, but hopefully I can adjust a little bit better tomorrow and catch another good bag. I definitely don't think I'm out of it, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Show you some big ones. Okay. The small one. Yeah, that one's skinny. There's some better ones. God, I wish they were all like that. All right. I had a pretty good day today. Um, I ended up weighing in way more than what I thought. I had over 14 pounds, and I also got the big bass for the day. So, extremely pleased with that, and very surprised. But don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Gonna have to adjust and maybe find something new. But I'm gonna go and give it a shot. We're sitting in sixth place right now, so.
Yeah, I didn't take out the net, but I hope I'm good on this one bait. Hopefully he lives. I hooked him so deep, but it's number three. Let's see what he does.
third and last day of the state tournament. I stayed right in six yesterday. Had a 14 and a half pound bag with a 427 for my big fish. So had another good day, kept myself in it. I'm gonna go hard today and see what we can do. Morning. but I got him right in the top. <laughs> Look at where I hooked that thing. That's how I like it. Yet. I got I got one that's probably like three and then another one a little bit smaller. But. Definitely slowing down a lot. Yeah, it's slowing down quite a bit. 
<laughs> that one's flat, too. Sir. I mean, there's good good fish in here. Trying to be stupid to leave. Yeah. I can't believe that stayed on to leave fighting. I know. Yeah. It didn't even look as big as that last one. And then I bet it was a three. Yeah. You don't have to fight at all. You got the kid. Be nice with him. Yeah, this one's probably. Fucking fish. Looks <laughs> stupid. It looks like it. <laughs> it it's got a bloody lip on the other side. Is it actually? <laughs> yeah. You have to be kidding me. Oh, it's got a fucking bloody lip on the top side. Like. How? How? Probably not bad. You literally had him and lost him at the boat and he came back and bit again. Yeah, the same, I caught him in the exact same time. That makes zero sense. Good one? Fighting like he's gonna help. Oh, you got it. Sorry. Just trying not to pull on him too hard. Start the GoPro, but just got another good one. It's gonna help a little bit. If I'm in the middle of this knot and you hook up, it's not gonna be good. Especially fishing something like this, you have just as many shots as the guy in the front of the boat for the most right part. Right now, but like this, this is perfect. That's why I thought at least I drew somebody that was on this and not somebody that didn't get to. I'm not gonna lie, like there's times where. Good one? Yeah. I'm all, up. Oh, I'm all wrapped up in my own line. Show the camera. Yeah. Look at that sucker. We're on him. Gotta be. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's one, one and three quarter. Is it not dead? 
I think so. It looks like there's a bed right there. Yeah, I think there's like right there. No, it was on a different bed. <laughs> you women are good luck. <laughs> we're, so, we're so loud, we scare the fish towards you. You know, yeah. fish whisper, you're calling them in. <laughs> hey, this is Colin. Uh, we're up on nine right now, and my my drinking battery died. We're trying to get it started right now, but we're uh, having some issues with it, so. Um, yeah, we do, so if someone was up here in the area, we could probably get it started, but we're going to try to just switch one of the throwing motor batteries over to make it back. Yeah, yeah, we tried that, and it, it was close, but it wasn't enough, so... Yeah, the kill, the kill switch is good. It it just I had to, I had my fish finder on for a while and the aerator was running so it it just drained the battery. Colin, where are you at? Forty-three sixty-eight for three-day tour. Brian Close, where's Brian? All right, guys. Haven't given an update here for a while. Had a lot of stuff going on at the end of the day. So after the last spot where you guys saw me catch a couple fish. Um, we went to start the motor and the battery was dead. I had the graph on, left it on, on accident, and we fished that for quite a while. So I went to start the motor and I also had the aerator running and killed the battery. So um, we messed around with that for a while and thankfully Mark, the amazing co-angler that I had today, um, was a lot of help and we got things figured out, switched over a battery and got it started. And then we ran into uh, Dan Mon got to give him a big shout out too because he followed us back just to make sure we got back safe so just a couple of awesome guys that that helped me and us get back and um, co-angler he ended up weighing in um, his three fish were like eight and a half pounds and he finished fourth place so he qualified for regionals and I weighed in 15 pounds even and qualified for my second regional two years in a row first two years fishing state so super pumped about that and uh, looking forward to this regional as well as the next one coming up here in about a month so hopefully can make some things happen there and get on and do some more fishing here shortly but thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed try to throw some things together but we'll see you next time what's up boys <laughs>